are back tonight with a two-day meeting to discuss the church in Europe and its future. Catholic leaders from Europe gathered in Belgium to analyze the situation of the faithful across the continent in this complicated time. Joining us now from Belgium is Dr. Valerie Duval Pouillon, Conference of European Churches Governing Board Member. Doctor, thank you so much for joining us. We appreciate it. Can you tell us more about this meeting and what was on the agenda? We had really a great meeting, you know, it's between CEC, the Conference of European Churches, representing Orthodox, Protestant and Anglicans of Europe, you know, leaders. And on the other side, the Conference of European Bishops, so bishops representing different countries in Europe. So it was a spiritual encounter where we had the chance to explore the challenges that happen in Europe at the moment. And, well, God knows we have so many challenges, especially with the war in Ukraine. So we had these two days together to pray together, to listen to the Bible and to share with experts as well, to share about the situation. So we took a lot of time about Ukraine, for instance, but also to share news of our different churches. And we had an excellent time talking about the synodal path that the Catholic Church is going at the moment, because it's probably one of the most exciting events uh, for the Catholic Church since Vatican II. So we wanted to take time to listen to each other, to understand what the other church is going through, to, to be real brothers and sisters together. And for those who may not be familiar, uh, would you mind telling us about the committee and some of the work it does? Yes, our committee is trying to be the Christian voice in Europe because Christianity in Europe is very diverse with Orthodox, Anglican, Protestants, with all the diversity of Protestants and Catholics. So we try to have the leaders of these different churches sitting together around the table and discussing together what they could do. So, for instance, recently they made a strong statement on the war in Ukraine to condemn any instrumentalization, saying that we cannot pretend it's any spiritual war and to defend our brothers and sisters in Ukraine. So it's also about gathering Christians every five or ten years, hundreds, hundreds you know, thousands of them in Europe, organizing convention where we can meet, pray and think together about Christianity in Europe. And before I let you go, can you talk to us about the situation uh, for the church in Europe? I know in a recent interview, you referred to it as a great period of crisis. Can you explain what you meant? Yes, as many people around the world, we are going crisis through crisis, like the climate crisis, but also more specifically in Europe, the fact that we have secularization and we really need to be witness of hope for people around us who do not believe anymore with the sexual abuses in the church and that are disappointed. And together we want to stand and show unity because this is a way we will show God's love. Absolutely. And doctor, thank you so much for your time today and speaking with us. We appreciate it.